pomegranates and pomegranate juice are really popular these days and they're great in all sorts of recipes, but getting into them can be kind of intimidating. They're solid and you know the seeds are in there, you know that they're messy, you know they're hard to get apart, peeling off all the pith on the inside is a pain in the behind, and you just want to be able to do it quickly and easily. And um, a great way to um, prepare a pomegranate is to do it over a bowl of water and drop the seeds into the water. I'm going to show you how to do it. First you got to crack this guy open and what I like to do is sort of feel it and see um, any sort of sunken in parts. Ideally you don't have one that's too sunken in but I like to find a place that clearly doesn't have a whole bunch of seeds right there. And I just take a small paring knife and I make a little bit of an incision in the skin. Then I dig my finger in and I start trying to pull it apart. And you will pop a few of the little um, arls inside, um, but you want to try not to squish all of them. Oop. And see, they shoot like rockets everywhere. But as you can see already, some have dropped into the bowl. The point of using um, water when you're preparing a pomegranate is that the seeds or the arls sink to the bottom and all of the pith floats to the top, so it's easy to separate them out. So then what you just want to do is over your bowl of water, start pulling and flicking the seeds into the bowl. And big chunks of this white pithy stuff you can just throw away into like a little garbage bowl. Um, but the little pieces of it will, when you dump it into the water, float to the top. Another thing you want to remember when you're working with pomegranates is that they do stain. So wear an apron, um, don't wear your evening finery while you're doing this. If you're about to have a dinner party, you know, do this, do this in advance. Um, the arls will stay fresh in the refrigerator in a, like a little container with a lid on it for a week. And so you don't have to be doing this at the last minute. And once you have all of your seeds removed, I don't yet, cause this is a huge pomegranate. Oh, I'm shooting them across the room here. You can see all of the pith and some of the, um, skin is floating at the top and you can just scoop that away off the surface of the water and well, a little bit of it will sunk but for the most part all of your clean seeds are in the bottom and all you have to do is drain it and maybe give them a quick rinse to get any extra pith off and uh, they're ready to go.